Once there was a little girl called Goldilocks, who wanted to pick some forest flowers for her mother. But in the dark, dark woods, she soon lost her way, and grew very tired and frightened. At last, she came across a friendly little cottage. Goldilocks knocked on the cottage door, but nobody was home. Then she looked through the window, and seeing that nobody was there, she crept in to have a look round. Hello, hello there. Where is everybody? Here's Goldilocks. She's been walking in the forest for a very long time, and now she's very tired. Look, she's just come across this little house. Oh, whose house is this? There are lots of different trees in the forest around the house. Do you know their names? This is an oak tree. Can you see the acorns on it? Pigs like acorns very much. This is an oak tree. Can you see the acorns on it? Pigs like acorns. These are bushes. This is a birch. It looks like a zebra because it's all stripy. These are clouds in the sky. It looks as if it's going to rain soon. I'm a bit scared about. I need to rest some. I'm so tired. I'm a bit scared. I need to rest somewhere. She didn't know that the little house belonged to three bears. One was a great big father bear. One was a middle-sized mother bear. And the third one was a little tiny baby bear. The bears were not at home, because they had gone out for a walk in the forest, whilst their porridge cooled down. Goldilocks went into the kitchen and saw three bowls of porridge on the table. The first bowl was Father Bear's bowl. The medium-sized bowl belonged to Mother Bear. The third blue bowl belonged to Baby Bear. Goldilocks tasted the porridge from the biggest bowl first. Ouch! She said. It's far too hot. Then she tried some porridge from the medium-sized bowl. Yuck! She said. It's far too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge from the little blue bowl. Yum! That one was definitely the best. I'll need to sit down to eat this porridge. Thought Goldilocks. She saw three chairs. The biggest one belonged to Father Bear. The middling one was Mother Bear's, and the tiny third one with a blue cushion belonged to Baby Bear. She wanted to sit on the big chair, but fell off it. This chair is far too hard, she said to herself. Then she sat in Mother Bear's medium-sized chair. But it was too uncomfortable for her. This chair is much too soft. So finally, she sat. Goldilocks tasted the porridge, but it was too uncomfortable for her. This chair is much too soft. So finally, she sat in the smallest chair, and smiled happily. Just right. She took the blue bowl of porridge over to the chair and began to eat. When she had finished the porridge, she began to rock on the chair. Silly Goldilocks, the chair broke, and she fell on the floor. What a lovely little house this is! So cozy here, and I can smell something really tasty. Goldilocks is very hungry. Can you see the table with the bowls of porridge? Try tapping on the table to see what happens. I don't like this porridge. It's too hot. This porridge is too cold. 
I'm not going to eat that. Mmm, what tasty porridge. I'm going to eat it all up. What a comfy little... Oh, this chair is too hard. Oh no, this chair is too soft. Oh dear, the chair is broken. Then Goldilocks went into the next room and found three beds. Goldilocks tried to climb up onto the largest bed. That's no good, she said. It's too high for me. Then she tried the middle-sized bed. This one's no good either, she grumbled. It's far too low. So then she lay down on the smallest bed. And guess what? It was just right for her. And she fell fast asleep. Wow! Just look at this pretty bedroom. Goldilocks wants to go to sleep. Let's find out which bed is best for her. No, this bed isn't quite right. It's too high for me. I don't like this bed. It's too low. This bed is so comfortable. I'm going to sleep right here. Just then, the three bears returned home from their walk. They were very hungry. Father Bear looked in his porridge bowl and said, Who's been eating my porridge? Mother Bear looked at her bowl too and said, Who's been eating my porridge? Then Baby Bear looked at his empty bowl and cried in his wee voice, Who's been eating my porridge and eaten it all up? Then Father Bear noticed something else. Who's been sitting in my chair and moved it? Mother Bear looked at her chair and said, Who's moved my chair too? Baby Bear looked at his broken chair and squeaked, Who's been sitting on my chair and actually broken it? Something is wrong here. I don't believe it. Somebody's been in our house. Mummy, look. Somebody's broken my little chair. My chair. Somebody has moved it. My porridge. Somebody has had a nibble of it. Daddy, look. Somebody has eaten my porridge all up. Mummy, look. Somebody's broken my little chair. What a mess they've left. The bears decided to look in their bedroom. Who's been trying to climb into my bed? roared Father Bear. Who's been sleeping in my bed? cried Mother Bear. Baby Bear said in his small wee voice, Who's been sleeping in my bed? Then he saw Goldilocks under the covers and added, And he's still there! Somebody has tried to climb onto my bed. Surely nobody would be so rude. Dad, I found the intruder. It's a little girl. Ah, my bed was so neat when we went out and now it's such a mess. Ah, oh, that's who's eaten my porridge all up and broken my little chair. You shouldn't behave as if you're a guest if you haven't been invited in. My bedclothes are all crumpled. 
Goldilocks woke up and leapt out of Baby Bear's bed. She ran straight to the window, jumped out, and ran off into the woods. And the bears never saw Goldilocks again.